but generally speaking it feels much the same as yours to be in. No, this one feels lighter an area. Oh right. I've got a roof, haven't I? Okay. Fabric up here, uh, not so fabric, but something yeah. like carpet. Okay. But yeah, this feels more open and uh, I think mine sort of flies more nose down as well. Quite, quite significantly nose down. But definitely got a vibration. This, this is uh, definitely the problem. Really got to, yeah, if it's a problem, does it? Well, I'll have to uh, have a deal with it. Um, do you normally cut across now and go over the bridge? Yeah, I'll go left of the bridge, obviously. They're normally quite low because of the well, weather on this side, really, because of the um, London City lot. Yeah. Because I know when you're going to Davis Hall, they want you at 1300 at the bridge. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, I'll come through where that we go going now. And then heading for the bottom. Uh, I left the information, Gulf Oscar Alpha Hotel Charlie. And then heading for the bottom. Gulf Oscar Alpha Hotel Charlie, London information, send passing message. Gulf Oscar Alpha Hotel Charlie is a uh, big channel coasting in towards uh, Dover. Yeah, that's right. Uh, requesting basic service, we're uh, altitude 5000, feet 1017. Golf Oscar Alpha Hotel Charlie, Roger, Squawk 1177 with me, Charlie, basic service. Requesting in the London QNH is 10016, ensure your main outside control desk space. that have done that. Yeah. This looks much more straightforward. I've done a whole lot of tweaking to it. Yeah. Um, so I normally go the bridge, the area on top of the hill to the right of, straight down past uh, Humbridge Wells on my left and uh, it's the Probra. Right. Charlie, we're going to Take the right turn and route uh, towards uh, South End. Golf Hotel Charlie Redler, report estimate to South End. Sorry, say again, you read the bulletin, thank you for your say again, Golf Hotel Charlie. Golf Hotel Charlie Redler, report estimate to South End. Oh, Golf Hotel Charlie, that's unreadable. I'm slightly worried, I have to say. I filled it up completely. Really? Absolutely, totally chuck a block. The front tank? Yeah. I love the Golf Hotel Charlie, where do you check? Golf Oscar Alpha Hotel Charlie, Linda Information. How do you read the VQ5? Golf Hotel Charlie, you read you uh, straight through with uh, distortion. Uh, just confirm I'd like to take a route towards uh, South End. We're at uh, altitude 4,500 feet. Golf, Oscar Alpha Hotel Charlie, I copy your routing to South End, 4,500 feet. Report estimate for South End. Do you have anything to do? Golf, Hotel Charlie, uh, estimate yeah. for South 
direction is that Harder than I would have liked, but yeah, we, got we didn't have much of a choice, really, did we, yeah, in that situation? That's so. You wouldn't have thought that, would you? But Mind. 
find out what's going on. Yeah. It has like you, I could have sworn it would have been blowing that way. Yeah. The smoke looks as if it was going that way, and it's obviously not here. According to the dipstick, it quite clearly shows 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 litres of fuel left in the tank, which means we'd use 10, which was about right for the flight so far. Front tank fuel pump is on, and regardless of the gauge, there is plenty, plenty. of fuel. No, I had that in, in my Nord. Yeah. I haven't opened this, so. Okay, you happy? Yep. Uh, <laughs> what direction? Zero three. Two one. Two one. One church radio, go for Alpha Yankee, Echo Hotel is departing 2 1. Okay. Yep. That all looks pretty. When you're climbing out from here, do you go this side of the bridge? Uh, go left. Yeah, okay. go, you've got to go the other side of the bridge. It's because of this stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I do. I always go the other side of the bridge. Yeah, when I had the Nord, I, um, I don't need it. Well, we don't need, I need it. Two or three weeks, and we went to the um, LAA rally at Cranfield. Yeah. Obviously, we're not flying it much, so I took a note of what fuel I used to get to Cranfield. And when I got there, on the filler return, the fuel gauge said 40 litres on takeoff to come, yeah. to come back. I got to Owlsbury and looked round and it said 5. So I'm thinking, RAF Hawk is the only place. Yeah. So I called them up and said I'd like to uh, make a uh, you know, precautionary landing because I think I'm losing fuel. Anyway, I headed for them and they said, yeah, come on in. I headed for them and I'm going field, field. Because you, you haven't got two tanks, have you? It's nice to have two yeah. tanks again. Then field and field. Um, and as I got overhead, halt and it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, great. So I said, I, I can't do a circuit, I've just got to land from here. And, uh, yeah. And the uh, fuel pipe had broken about an inch away from the, from the carburetor. Cool. Yeah. Um, some of it was going through. Uh, but most of it was going out underneath. Huh? And what they've done, or whoever... I mean, it's got a brand new permit. They, yeah. they used a solid piece of copper from the pump to the carburetor, and it went back like that, through 90 degrees, and then straight into the carburetor. So this 90 degree bit was wanging about all the time. Yeah. Amazing. I know. We changed it for a flexible pipe. Which, uh, yeah. So yeah, I've had that happen for real, and it did stop. Yes. <laughs> you 
learn from all these things, don't you? You do, yeah. So you say you take a bead on that mast? Yeah, I go to the right of the mast. Yeah. Stay right of um, Tunbridge Wells, and then you can see Crover on the top of the hill, which I just head for, which keeps you as outside there. Uh, right. So you say they're just held in place with a thumb screw? Yeah, basically. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. They're pretty easy to get at because that whole unit, you disconnect the wires and then the whole thing just swivels around and comes out, in theory. Mm -hmm. That one just looked particularly corroded when I opened it up. Mm. So you say that was the earth one, you think? That yeah, I think I'm fairly sure it's just the earth come off. And if that's making and breaking all the time, that could be what's interfering with your radio as well. Just try your gauge again and make sure that is still... Mm -hmm. Right, master has gone on. And there we are. We've got just over three quarters, which is where it should be, because I've got 45 litres out of 55 and we have got a slight wobble on the needle big wobble on the camera but slight wobble on the needle it's all right then that's what we want another job job another job jobbed thanks for watching for the end i hope you enjoyed the video please leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and join me next time as I finish my flight to the Isle of Wight with Dave.